Well, hello, boys and girls. You're right on time. My name is Clara, and I live here in my cuckoo clock. I keep time moving right along each day so that everyone has fun as we play. Would you like to have a fun time with me today? Yes! You do? Well, tickety-talk! Just like any clock, my clock has two hands. One is big and one is small. These hands tell me what time it is. Let's look at the big hand. What picture is the big hand on my clock pointing to? The music note. The music note, right. That means it's time to sing. Everyone, stand up and sing a song with me. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down, everybody praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down Everybody praise the Lord Praise the Lord, praise the Lord Everybody praise the Lord When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down Everybody praise the Lord Oh, you sounded terrific! And would you look at that? The big hand is moving closer and closer to the next spot on our clock. When the big hand makes it to the next spot on my clock, there's a special song I sing. It goes like this. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo! We're right on time. The big hand is pointing to a picture of a game. <laughs> Well, that must mean it's game time. Let's play What's Missing. You see, we have a mummy, a mummy, and a pyramid. Then we have a mummy and a mummy. What comes next in the pattern? Boys and girls, do you know what's missing? The pyramid. The pyramid. You got it. Hmm, I wonder where we could find one of those. Good idea! Maybe we can look for one at our next stop on the clock. Oh, the big hand is moving again, which means time is ticking. So let's sing my special song together. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo! Oh, what feathering fun! <laughs> it's time for a Bible adventure. Today, we're going to Egypt. So put on your pharaoh hat. And don't forget your sandals. Now flap your wings and fly on a Bible adventure with me. Hello, friends. It is so nice to see you. If you are here looking for a pyramid, then you have surely come to the right place. Here, we have pyramids of all sizes, and I would love to send you home with one. But before you go, would you have time for a story? Yeah! Great! To hear my story, you must click on your listening ears. Do it with me. Click, click, click. Good job. To see my story, you must put on your special eyes. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Perfect. My favorite book to read for story time is the Bible. This is a special story indeed because it is the story of a man who lived here in Egypt. His name is Joseph. Can you shout Joseph? Joseph. Yes. When Joseph was a boy, his brothers were not kind to him. They sold Joseph to traders who took him to live far away in Egypt. While he was there, Joseph had to work hard as a slave. He was even put in jail. Friends, this was not good at all. Let me hear all of you say, Oh no! Oh no! But wait, there's more to Joseph's story. Several years later, God told Joseph to store up grain because one day the fields would stop growing food. Joseph obeyed God, and now the people of Egypt had food when there was none in the land. Joseph's brothers lived far away from Egypt. When the fields stopped growing food, they had no food to eat, and they were hungry. Let me see all of you pat your tummies like you're hungry too. 
You do look hungry. So the brothers traveled to Egypt to ask for food. They didn't know they were asking for food from their very own brother. Instead of being mean to his brothers, Joseph obeyed God and was kind to his brothers, giving them food to eat. Then Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. His brothers were so surprised. It had been so long since they had seen him. Joseph told his brothers that he was not mad at them. See, Joseph knew that God says we should forgive others when they hurt us. And he obeyed God. Joseph forgave his brothers for hurting him. And he also obeyed God by loving them and taking care of his family. Let's all cheer for Joseph obeying God. Over the next few years, Joseph's family lived in nice homes and had plenty to eat. Joseph also obeyed God by taking care of the people in and around Egypt. He made sure they had plenty to eat also. Joseph obeyed God every day, and because of that, God did great things through him. Friends, God wants you and me to obey him too. When we read the Bible, we learn how God wants us to live and show love to him and to others. If you want to show love to God by obeying him, let me hear you say this after me. Obey. Obey. God. God. That's great. Thanks for taking the time to listen to this story from the Bible. And before you go, here's a tiny pyramid for you. Farewell. I hope to see you again soon. Tickety talk. Oh, we found what we needed. But the big hand is moving, which means time is ticking. So let's sing my special song together. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. It's time to help. Lots of people need our help every day. Do you remember something we learned on our Bible adventure that could help someone else? Ah, yes. We learned to obey God. Everyone, say this after me. Obey. Obey. God. God. That's it. And look, here's someone we can help. This is Rio. Rio is in a store with his mom and is thinking about stealing a pyramid toy. Can Rio obey God by stealing the toy or by leaving it in the store? Leaving it in the store. You got it. The Bible says that stealing is not right. So it's time for us to help Rio so he can do what God says is good and right. Let's help Rio by telling him what we learned on our Bible adventure today. Say it after me. Obey. Obey. God. God. Well, tickety talk. We were right on time to help Rio. He heard what we said, and now he's obeying God and leaving the toy at the store. You and I can have fun when we obey God every day, too. You know, there's a verse from the Bible that tells us all about how God wants us to live every day. Say it after me. Love. Love. Being kind. Being kind. To others. To others. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. Cuckoo! I can love being kind to others, and so can you. It's always a good time to be kind. Speaking of time, the clock is ticking. So let's sing my special cuckoo clock song together. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, it's time to sing again. I know just the song that can help us remember how God wants us to live. Stand up and let's sing it together. We've got time to travel. We're gonna do what's right. We're gonna love everybody. And we'll always be kind. Jesus, I will do, do what, what you say. I will do what you say I 
fun. <laughs> time sure flies when you're having fun. It's time for me to go, but I hope you will come back soon. <laughs> <laughs>